Good afternoon. Union officials have been meeting workers at engineering firm Bifab's yard at Arnish in the Western Isles over fears the company is going out of business. 1,400 jobs are in danger at yards in Fife and Lewis because of a contract dispute. The Scottish government's involved in talks to secure a rescue package. At Arnish, the workforce are continuing to turn up for work but say they're being left in the dark. They're not telling us very much at all. Like. So uh, a lot of boys have just left because uh, you don't know whether you're going to get paid or not, you know. There's a lot of guys, uh, families, going up to Christmas. It's a worrying time, nobody's telling us nothing. We're basically just surmising and working on rumours. And I personally think that we should be getting help. An Aberdeen MSP suspended by his party says he'll cooperate fully with an investigation into his conduct. Mark Macdonald stood down as childcare minister over allegations about his private life. He was suspended last night after fresh allegations were made over his conduct. STV spoke to some of his constituents today. If you're in the public eye, you've got to be very careful what you say and what you do. So I don't think it would turn into it, but uh, I don't think he should be crucified. I think he should just be left to get on with his job. It's like a lot at the minute. It's happening now. Every one of them coming out, it's, when's it got to end? If it's true, then it, obviously they deserve it, but it seems to be just a witch hunt that's going on just now. I wouldn't uh, judge until um, the final outcome uh, come out, sort of thing, like, just sort of see how it goes, like. Another consultation and hearing are to be held on proposals to create a new stadium for Aberdeen Football Club. The council says further information relating to the Kingsford plans has been submitted by developers. It's thought the planning application, which has faced local opposition, could be determined by the end of January. Voting has closed in the contest to elect a new leader of the Scottish Labour Party. The winner of the ballot will be announced at an event tomorrow, where either Anna Sarwar or Richard Leonard will step in to head the party. The MSPs put themselves forward after Kezia Dugdale quit the role in August. Now here's Sean with the weather forecast. sponsors STV Weather. Good afternoon. We're going to hang on to that strong and cold wind across northern and western parts during today. Gales here and frequent showers falling as sleet and snow, even potentially to lower levels at times across the northern hills, settling snow over the higher ground. Across eastern parts, a lot of dry weather today with broken cloud. Now, you could see showers just about anywhere during tonight, but again, the most frequent ones in the north and the west. We will hang on to that strong to gale force wind, and again, there will be a little bit of a wintry flavour to them at times too. Touch of frost in the east, we've got shelter from that breeze. A lot of sunshine during tomorrow but we'll see heavy showers across the North Isles, the north of Lewis and also the North Highlands. Bye bye. Tui sponsors STV Weather. That's all for now. Join Andrea at six for all today's news and sport. But until then from everyone here, do have a very good afternoon. Goodbye.